Okay, for tonight's homework, I'm going to have you write these selected problems down and then write down five words to show me that you watch this. All right, the problems I saw issues with were this scale factor problem where you're going from the big blue diamond shrinking down to this small red diamond. So Q is the original. Q prime is the new one. It's shrinking. So I'm going to compare the straight across length of this little one after it was shrunk down compared to its length when it was original size. So the new smaller length is going to go on top. That's four boxes long compared to the original larger length which is six boxes long. So to find this, the first word is I. I. Put that four the length of the little new shape over six the length of the large new sh or the original new shape shrunken down and that gives me a scale factor of two-thirds which makes sense when I reduce it down anything shrinking has a scale factor smaller than one so a small uh, fraction so to get full credit I need to say this was dilated by a scale factor of two-thirds. Make sure you write all that. Just don't write the scale factor. Tell me it was dilated by a scale factor of two-thirds. All right, the next problem has you find scale factor using just coordinates. So we're looking at Q, the original, Q1, the new one. So this is growing, going to have a scale factor bigger than one. So this point, Q1, compared to the new bigger size, 6, 3, I could see that I'm timesing every coordinate by 3. That is my scale factor. Again, comparing coordinates will give you scale factor just like comparing length. The second word is can. Can. All right, next problem. We're going to skip to this one where I could see I'm going from 1 to 2. Looks like a slide or a translate up. Never say slide. Translate and give me the direction. Translate up. And then from two to three, reflect. Don't say flip. Reflect. And then tell me the line is reflecting over. Reflect over the y-axis. Reflect across the y-axis. So again, tell me translate and the direction up. Reflect over the line y-axis. All right, the third word is study. All right, the next problem that was tough was this one where they're having you rotate this whole thing 90 degrees clockwise to the right, but they're only looking at point H. So point H, which is over 8, down 2. Remember, when you do a quarter turn to the left, this point flips around, and the right one comes opposite I'm sorry quarter turn to the right flip the point and make that right coordinate opposite if this was a quarter turn counterclockwise to the left I would have flipped it and made that left one negative but again quarter turn to the right notice I flipped the points around and I made the right one opposite of what it was so negative 2 switch 8 became opposite so the new point for H after a 90 degree quarter turn is left to down 8. Again, this whole thing, quarter turn to the right. Flip it, make the right one opposite. The fourth word is all. All. Okay. Some more problems here. Next one. We're going to skip to this one right here. Where again, I have you take this whole shape and not just do it a quarter turn where you flip it and make one of the coordinates opposite. You're doing a whole half turn 180 where the points stay the same and just opposite. So again, quarter turn, flip the points around, but a half turn 180, leave the points alone but just opposite them. So again, if I was doing quarter turn to the right, I would have flipped this around and made the right one negative. Quarter turn to the left, I would have flipped this around and made the left one negative. But a half turn, 
I'm going to leave the negative 6 and 2 alone. So to get my new D prime, again, don't flip. Don't switch the position. Don't change the 2 and the negative 6. Don't do this. Don't change. Don't switch them. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to do that. Leave the points alone, but make them opposite. So the opposite of negative 6, positive 6. Opposite of 2, negative 2. Opposite of negative 4, 4. Opposite of 4, negative 4. So opposite. Just leave them opposite. Opposite of negative 3, 3. Opposite of 4, negative 4. Opposite of negative 1, 1. Opposite of 2, negative 2. So notice the points didn't flip around. They just opposited it. So 6, negative 2, if I could delete this, 6, negative 2, write 6 down 2, that's the new D prime, write 4 down 4 is the new E prime, write 3 down 4 is the new F prime, and then write 1 down 2 is the new G prime. You can see a upside down trapezoid been rotated 180 degree either clockwise or counterclockwise either way with 180 degrees doesn't matter you'll always end up no matter which direction you go remember those quarter turns though it matters whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise the fifth word is day day good luck